the GS1280 utilizes all four interprocessor ports. Let's consider a matrix of 64 EV7 system chips laid out in a grid. Inside the matrix, you can see that the east port of a chip is connected to the west, and the south port is connected to the north. This leaves outer ports unconnected. Moving to a three-dimensional model, you can connect the north ports to the south. Now, when you connect the west ports to east, you create a donut, or torus ring. This torus ring is a graphic representation of a 64P Alpha Server GS1280. CPUs connected in such a fashion reduce the number of hops necessary to enable one CPU to gather data from another and provide alternate paths should a particular interprocessor path fail. On a subsequent reboot, routing using different paths may be possible. Here we see that a processor needing to communicate with a processor on the other side of the 4x4 mesh takes six hops. But because of the toroid nature of the mesh, it's able to reach it in just two. We may also note that arrays that are in perfect square configurations, such as 4x4 or 8x8, perform optimally, allowing the maximum interconnect in the least number of hops. Further, when a system in a torus configuration has more than one partition, the toroid nature of the system is compromised because links between processors at the edges of the partition are no longer there. When making the decision to partition, consider the value of the partition versus the value of keeping the torus ring intact. 